Hi everyone, today we're going to take a closer look at something that I was holding into the cam last time I did the review for the Nike MX-93 and that is the Nike Airspan 2. What the? Nike is releasing a retro, you have to ask yourself the question, did they mess it up? Because the past has shown that Nike does not really stick to the original patterns that they have on their OG models and uh, just take for example the Nike Air Icarus, uh, that was a total catastrophe. The Icarus Extra was a little bit better but also not very close to the original and just a shame that they, that they keep messing up their their own original models and make something pretty much completely different out of it. Um, with the Nike Airspan 2, is that the case? Did they mess it up? No, not really, but... The Nike Airspan 2 is made completely out of synthetic materials. For example, this gray artificial suede, which is running all around the shoe, and you have the black section, which is an artificial leather. The white material here is, of course, a mesh, and it feels very, very strange actually, a little bit like my grandma's pillowcase, uh, something I've never seen before on the shoe. You can also find it here on the tongue and at the heel section of the shoe. Also on the heel section you will find the Nike Air branding and as if that branding was not enough, you will also find a very prominent Nike Air Span logo at the side of the shoe. The shoe runs true to size by the way, so go with your normal Nike sizing. And uh, I find the toe box actually pretty wide, so if you have white feet, you probably don't even have to size up. I find the tip of the toe box to be pretty round actually, and I'm not sure if that has been like that on the original model. If you do happen to know, drop a comment. thing that didn't turn out so great on the Airspan 2 is the tip of the toe box. That little lip in the front of the shoe is pretty high actually and is already pointing backwards and it gives the whole shape a short and stubby look as you can see right here on the on the very top. It has not been like that on the original model. On the original one it was a lot longer and gives it a much much nicer shape. That's a little bit disappointing but Oh well, something that you just have to live with. It still looks better than on a lot of older MX-1s. And if we're taking a look underneath the shoe on the outsole, you can see that the whole sole has very little curvature. It does look a little bit strange if you're looking down on the shoe because it does look like duck feet. <laughs> Some people might not like that. I think it still looks killer all in all and uh, you shouldn't be bothered by that. I think with the Airspan 2, Nike has released a really good retro. I really like it on feet. The shape is, is not too bad actually, except for the little mess up on the nose of the toe box. But still, really, really like it. And I'm looking forward to the collabs and all the other releases coming out. There's a Pata collab, rumored, maybe just a friends and family edition, but it looks very close to the original colorway, the white, black, and infrared. And if I'm not able to get that one, I'm just gonna grab the OG. Um, if you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe. And there's this little notification bell on top. If you check it, you will get notified every time I'm releasing a new video. So thanks for watching. I hope I'm gonna see you next time. Until then, bye bye.